Okay. Hello, I'm Alex from AP Inc. So today I'm going to be swatching some markers that I got. Okay, so I had actually said that I wasn't going to do this, but I found myself in Five Below again. I, which is where I've been getting these markers from. Um, the last time I was in Michael's, or excuse me, Five Below, I I saw these, and next thing I know, I'm walking out with them. Um. I was gonna just swatch a few colors to see if the colors were the same, but after looking at them, uh, aside from the new packaging, uh, there are new colors, so I'm just gonna go through and swatch them all. Um, I have kind of arrange them outside the boxes in color order to try and streamline this. Um, now, obviously paper packaging versus plastic packaging, which paper is cool, it'll break down faster or it can be recycled, but there's also a downside in my opinion, because if you were to store your markers in these, they're not going to hold up very long. Opening and closing them all the time. I mean, just opening and closing this once and the box ripped. Whereas these plastic containers, maybe they've seen better times. But I've had these for several years now, and they're still hanging strong. Whereas these paper ones, I, uh, I mean, if you're just using these at home, probably fine in these boxes or something else. But if you're traveling, which I used to travel quite a bit for art related projects for work before COVID, I would have had to have gotten a carrying case for these. Um, I could see if you were going to keep them in these boxes, maybe to more or less laminate them with like packing tape. But anyways, so I'm going to go through and swatch all the colors, four boxes, these have 12 a piece, while these two have 21 a piece. Um, previously, I was kind of testing them for bleed, along with trying to arrange them by color, but I think I'm just going to go through and swatch them. So, marker for marker, kind of color for color. I think these ones, the new ones, are probably a replacement for these. While these ones are a replacement for these. Um, they are a alcohol based marker, dual ended, broad or chisel, fine or bullet nib. They still have the indicator on one side so that you can, at a glance, try to tell like which side is which. They do have a name and number on the outside of the pet or on the cap. 
And if it does matter to you, you can stack the lid. Um, what I had done, because I, I kind of upgraded and have a case to put these in. I... Uh, for these ones, because they're they're now being stored like this in a case, I put a sticker on the end with the number so that hopefully, just at a glance, I know what I'm grabbing. Okay, so I'm going to start with these dual-ended markers. Same kind of feel it as the white barrel ones broad fine or chisel nib bullet nib and at least on this the sticker indicates which is which So, <laughs> I was actually going to, I'm going to be treating these all as kind of like one collection. Uh, I was going to put them all in like color order, but I felt like it was, it kind of made more sense to keep these black barrels together as one lot and then the white barrel as one lot but I'm going to be using them in conjunction if that makes sense this is uh, mixed media paper that I'm using to swatch That was Cosmos. This is Vermilion. Terracotta. And at least for me, I don't have a problem with these markers, that's why I bought them, but uh, you have to buy them in sets, so if you run out of one color, you gotta buy the entire set again, which is why I was gonna like just use what I have until it were, uh, runs dry and then be done with it. But, I don't know. I was in the store for something else. Noticed the new packaging. And just couldn't help myself. Thank you. 
Some of these might be exactly the same as the ones that I already have, but sometimes as you go from like one set to the next, they can sometimes change the uh, color formula. So it can be a good idea even if they're markers that you have worked with previously to just check that they're the same in tone and whatnot. Uh, um, with these two, they both came with black, so I actually have two blacks. So I'm not going to swatch both of them. I'm just pointing out that I have two blacks. If I remember, I'll pull the other swatch cards to compare the colors, see if there are any changes.
I could see if I actually had white stickers instead of these green ones that I could have just swatched the sticker to put it on the end. But I didn't have any on hand. I don't know, do you guys prefer me to sit here in silence, or would you prefer me to actually say the color? Because I kind of got lost in it. Uh, I'll try to do better when I move on to the next set. One gray. I've got... One more. WG7 warm gray. Okay, so moving on to these ones, illustration markers, these are also alcohol based. Thank you. 
This is old red. This is number seven Cosmo. Which even for that, this one is Cosmo number seven and so is this. Obviously they're not the same. I was originally gonna put them all together as like one group instead of keeping them um, separate in the case. But I thought that um, because the barrels are different for space that they would fit better keeping them separate aside from the fact that some of the, <clears throat> excuse me some of the numbers were the same and I thought it would get confusing but seeing the difference right here I could have mixed them okay this is deep red This is Vermillion, 14. Which this is more of like leaning more towards orange where this one is more like red. I mean, it's still in the red family, but it looks more orangish, where this is a lot darker. The only thing is, is these white ones keep getting stuck on each other. This is 17 pastel pink. Yeah, that's right. I noticed this when I was putting them in the case that I have. The caps are different. The numbers and the name is the same. Which, I don't know if this was a mistake. The old ones, I have pink and light pink, 
which straight pink is 17. I don't know. It's probably going to be the same color, but I feel obligated to test this one too, just to see if there is a difference. There is a difference. I don't know if it shows up on camera. This first one is a bit softer. Okay, so here is pastel pink and here is pastel pink. Now again, I did mix them, so aside from the color difference, it doesn't... I guess this one is meant to be a bit more pastel than this one, so maybe that's why there's a slight color difference, even though they're the same color name. Even though they're both pastel pink. I don't know. Okay, 24 marigold. Number 26, Pastel Peach. Number 33, Melon Yellow. So at least in this case, Melon Yellow is orange. Or at least it's leaning more towards orange than yellow. Thirty seven pastel yellow.
41 olive green. Forty two bronze green, that's quite dark. Forty eight yellow green, that one almost seemed dry. Fifty three turquoise green, Fifty nine pale green, Sixty six baby blue. Sixty seven pastel blue, Seventy one cobalt blue, Seventy five dark blue light. Seventy 
So dark blue light equals a purple color. Seventy seven pale blue, Eighty two light violet, Ninety five burnt sienna. Now I kind of regret not mixing them. To actually have all the colors together instead of separated like this. And maybe these white barrels would stop holding on to each other. I don't know if they're actually somehow grabbing the uh, caps. One twenty black, which, especially for this, to have the blacks together and see like which one is a darker black. Because there are, believe it or not, different shades of black. Some of them are a bit more gray, like here. Which, I mean, like this one here, 42 bronze green. If you weren't looking, you might actually mistake that for black. 135 pale cherry pink. One forty three mint blue, that one also seemed kind of dry. One forty four pale baby blue, One 
145 pale lavender. Uh, 147 pale lilac. I mean, I might also have them packed in too much, like too tight. I do have like seven markers in a row. One sixty six spring, <clears throat> excuse me. Spring dim green. One seventy two spectrum green. One seventy five lime green. One seventy eight cool shadow. One 
183 I'm not sure if it's phalo or thalo. P H T H A L O phalo like with an A F sound or thalo with the TH sound. I've heard of phalo blue, but I'm not sure what the emphasis is supposed to be on. I'm squashing them a bit now because I'm running out of paper and I still have I don't know, about 10-ish markers left. BK9. I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. BK thirty nine. I'm curious what BK is supposed to be. What uh, what it's supposed to stand for? BK sixty nine. BK seventy BK seventy four CG five cool gray. GG5 green gray
WG5 Warm Gray. Okay, so kind of just to compare, there's obviously a lot more colors because the original illustration markers was just one pack of 18 versus two packs of 21. But that there's a mix of kind of pastel colors with bold colors now. And then these smaller colors, the black barrel markers. It's still the same count. Maybe it's just because I mixed them. Because they still have... Kind of uh, colors versus uh, gray tones. Skin tones and gray tones and assorted colors. Which they still have that. These were the original swatches for this set. To compare like the yellow ochre to yellow ochre, I think it's the same. I don't know, I'm almost thinking the older one may have been a bit darker. Same thing here. The burnt umber seems a bit darker. Reddish brass to reddish brass. They don't have cerulean blue anymore. Because it was so long ago, I don't know if the color difference could be because maybe I, I coated it twice. Which, the more you apply ink, the darker it can become. Anyways, I am going to leave this here. Thank you to anybody who watched or watches. I... Uh, when I'm not swatching colors, I do actually create uh, art pieces of some caliber. Uh, if you would like to see that happen, please make sure that you're following me and that your notifications are turned on so that you're notified for the next time I do go live. But other than that, thank you for anybody who watched or watches. Enjoy the rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.